the Adobe Suite costs over $600 a year. Not only is the Adobe Suite expensive, but it has a really steep learning curve. In this video, I want to show you some Photoshop alternatives that are either free, cheaper, or easier to use. If you were looking to get Photoshop standalone, it would cost you $20.99 per month. Not only would you have to pay for the app itself, but you would have to spend a substantial amount of time or money on lessons for using the software. Not only are there cheaper options that are significantly easier to use, but there are free options that will help you get started with your photo editing career. Some of these alternatives require no design skill whatsoever and you can make logos, banners, intros, and graphics in a matter of minutes. I wanna start this video off with a Photoshop alternative that is 25% cheaper and requires no design skill whatsoever. Place It is part of the Envato digital environment. Similar to many other Envato tools, Place It is easy, quick, and requires no skill to get started. In fact, I use Placeit from time to time to make my job easier. Not only does Placeit do graphics like Photoshop, but it also has the capability to do videos as well. Check out this video graphic I made to promote my merchandise on the screen. Making this merchandise banner for my videos took me less than 10 minutes in Placeit. I simply placed the picture of the items, selected the colors and changed the text, and then saved the file onto my computer. If you wanted to, you can make all of the branding for your YouTube channel using Placeit. With Placeit, you can make YouTube logos, YouTube intros, banners, end screens, and even YouTube thumbnails in a matter of minutes. Placeit is not limited to content creators. You can use Placeit if you're trying to make mockups or templates, logos, or anything similar to that. If you're looking to join me in using Placeit, they have given my community a 15% discount, making the price for Placeit only $12.70 per month. Use the link on the screen or in the description below to get 15% off of all of Placeit's features. I think it would be fun to try and make a thumbnail for this video using Placeit just so I can show you guys how versatile this tool really is. I wanted to find an image that was bright in color that would resemble some sort of photo editing software. And in order to make it match the theme, I just picked an image with a computer screen that looked or resembled some sort of photo editing. I think that this image could totally be used as a thumbnail for this video. Again, guys, if you're interested in checking out Placeit, make sure you grab the 15% discount by using my link, which is linked in the description below. The Affinity apps have been popularized by a YouTuber named Sam Woodall. Affinity Photo is a very powerful application that is way more cost effective than Photoshop. Unlike Adobe, the Affinity apps can be licensed with a one-time payment. Affinity Photo is $49.99. With the one-time purchase of $49.99, you will get access to the entire app. I personally don't have the application, so I won't be able to properly show all of its cool features for you guys, but we can talk about some of the main selling points for this application. Affinity Photo is similar to Photoshop in design, making it easy to navigate and use if you are currently a Photoshop user. Affinity Photo will import and export in Photoshop documents, meaning you can use your Photoshop documents in Affinity Photo. Affinity has a powerful layer system similar to Photoshop. Affinity Photo has raw camera file support, works with raster and vector images, panorama, HDR, and focus stack merging tools. It has layer editing and a strong brush selection and customization. Some of the cons of Affinity Photo is that it lacks the import photo management tools that you would want. On Photoshop, when you import a photo, it will allow you to adjust the exposure, the temperature, and all kinds of different things, and that doesn't exist on Affinity Photo. Although similar in design to Photoshop, what I've read is that it can sometimes be obtuse as far as the interface goes. You can get Affinity Photo at affinity.serif.com or using the link in the description below. Now we're going to jump into the free alternatives to Photoshop. PhotoP is a browser-based Photoshop alternative. Like many alternatives, PhotoP works directly with PSD documents, meaning you can import and export Photoshop documents from Photopea. Photopea is great because it doesn't require any downloads on your computer. Everything works directly from a web browser window. The only thing you need for Photopea to work is an internet connection. The biggest downfall of Photopea is the lack of speed. 
although it's identical to Photoshop and really easy to use, it starts to get really, really slow when you have a larger project file. Photopea is funded by the ads shown while you're working on projects. If the size of the workload exceeds the amount of revenue from ads, then they can't really afford to make it any faster. However, this is probably the best way to start learning design and photo editing for free. You can check out Photopea from photopea.com. This next alternative is also completely free. Inkscape is a rather popular alternative to Photoshop because it has many powerful tools. Although Inkscape can be used as an alternative to Photoshop, it's really meant to be a similar tool to Adobe Illustrator. The problem with Inkscape isn't that it's not powerful enough or good enough, it's the fact that it has a very steep learning curve. Inkscape is similar in many ways to Photoshop, however, it has many functions that are pretty foreign to those of us that are used to using the Adobe Suite. Some advantages of Inkscape is that it offers full-featured vector management tools. It has an interface that supports up to 29 different languages. It is an open source application that is constantly being improved. It supports creative gradients and it has professional filters and effects. Although Inkscape is a very powerful illustration tool, it does have some downsides. The software is rather buggy. Sometimes the pop-up windows don't work or the right-click menu doesn't close. Although it does have some bugs, for a free software, Inkscape is absolutely incredible. Something cool about Inkscape is it's often used for computer graphic tasks. With Inkscape, you can actually store an XML statement within a file. Inkscape is a donation-based software. If you end up using Inkscape, consider donating them so they can continue working on that project. The next alternative we want to talk about is Krita or Krita. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. Krita is actually an alternative that's often suggested by professionals. Krita is very powerful. It has very, very, very similar tools to Photoshop. Very easy to use, but the biggest issue with Krita is the fact that it gets very laggy. Krita, like Inkscape, is an open source program. It's made for digital illustration and animation. Many professionals actually prefer Krita when it comes to painting on their images. The big benefit of Krita is that the software is very easy to use and understand. It's a lot like Photoshop, but in fact, I find it a lot more simple. Krita has a great tool called the Multi Brush Tool, and in all reality, Krita has an amazing set of brush tools. This Multi Brush Tool has three different modes, Symmetry, Mirror, and Translate, which allows you to create mirrored or symmetrical images. The biggest downside of Krita is that it's pretty limited for editing raw photos. The Krita system only has so many tools for editing photos, such as exposure, highlight, and color correction. If you're interested in checking out Krita, you can get it from krita.org. I highly suggest you try this app out, at least for the brush tools, so you can see all the cool brush features that you have on this application. It's great if you're, you know, painting a whole scene. So definitely go check it out. Krita is going to be the last application we talk about as far as alternatives for Photoshop. If you're interested in more free options for alternatives, I've linked a lot of the more popular options down below. Some of these tools are very powerful photo image editors and so on and so forth. So definitely check out some of the free options that I've listed in the description below as well. If you guys have any questions or you're just interested in talking about some of this stuff, feel free to hop in my Gilded or Discord servers. Both of them are linked in the description below. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and I will catch you next time. Peace.